hey guys i should have probably a different intro for this channel but hey guys is my thing and i'm gonna stick with it also how do you guys like my book collection it's my pride and joy of this whole room like if anyone comes in i'm like have you seen my bookshelf though i fell asleep with wet hair like what can i say my hair just looks like this for the fun of it so we're gonna have to do something with it you guys i know this will be kind of like my um me channel but also a lot of the time if i do a get ready with me it's because i'm also planning to film a main channel video where I need to be wearing makeup and because I'm an efficient human being I'm gonna film a get ready with me and then use that same makeup to do my main channel video because at this point in time none of us are really leaving to go anywhere <laughs> so wearing a makeup is really not a necessity wow my hair really just needs a break <laughs> also my roots like where am I gonna go and get these bad boys fixed is it gonna be my bathroom with just like homemade bleach mix and toner and purple shampoo and hope for the best probably also i have been very proud of myself because for the last like four years of my life i've been doing my own nails at home now when everyone's like panicking where they're gonna get their infills i'm like i'm gonna go downstairs and do them myself <laughs> so being talented is really just so yeah i have to fix these bad boys because they're actually just breaking like one of these is just She's cracked and she's ready to go. Let's just hang out. I, I, I feel like because I don't go out, it's just like you don't really get to hang out with anyone. So you're just at home working and working and working. And also playing Animal Crossing. Tell me guys what fruit you have on your island if you have Animal Crossing, what your island color is. It will be like the flag next to the airport. Let me know because I'm very interested. I've been playing that game way too much but then again i love my switch like my switch is my absolute pride and joy i said this was my pride and joy my switch is another pride and joy i like to wake up at like 7 a.m well before the time change i would wake up at 7 a.m and now my brain just can't seem to comprehend like time and waking up at 7 a.m it just it's like no we're not doing this today sorry so i wake up at like 7 30 8 a.m and then i get all my work done by like noon and then because i rush through all my work and i rush through kind of like chores and stuff i can sit and spend the rest of my day playing the switch because that's what adults do i am gonna be 20 this month but yeah i've I'm, I'm turning 20 on the 14th of april and with everything going on in the world i just basically what i'm trying to do throughout this staying at home business is use up old makeup like things that are i bought first because they're going to expire first so then i can kind of get rid of them and then bring in new things without feeling bad about it so i'm trying to use up like old staples that i used to use so this is the first aid beauty coconut skin coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer that was a mouthful and who did i see you saying that they really liked this because i feel like i used this before and i was like mm. i used to do very different makeup like on my main channel i have a few makeup tutorials from like year and a half ago and when i look at them i'm like oh baby what are you doing why does your face look like that <laughs> let's try again so i really like highly skin looking makeup i guess you could say i watch a channel called lauren may beauty um so lauren does a lot of like she doesn't really do makeup tutorials as much but she does almost like commentary videos on youtube that's my new favorite genre of youtube videos i am obsessed uh with commentary style videos but just about makeup it's kind of where i want to go with this channel a little bit not commentary makeup but like makeup but not just doing my makeup but also just talking about makeup it's something i'm very passionate about people just talk about like what they're going to be buying what they're not going to be buying what stuff they're using up they're doing project pans i'm like this is a whole new world that it's like so far from the typical beauty guru and they're so unproblematic and i just oh, I just stand anyway I'm, i've been holding this i'm like sitting here with this primer just having a, a, a grand old chat um i'm currently watching a smoky glow video because that's another channel that i've been very much into i'm also very into if you haven't realized like that whole i just left the gym and i'm really sweaty makeup look <laughs> like dewy but like too dewy and glossier has been my best friend because i'm really into also like no makeup makeup but then doing my eyeshadow and everything else but then having my skin look very natural the glossy skin tint i know i know this i'm holding it upside down because it's finished practically it's like spitting at me um this squeezy bottle needs to go it needs to go but also if you're looking for something a little more full coverage um by a little i mean a lot more full, co full coverage the anastasia beverly hills foundation is my absolute favorite it's my baby i love her so much she is so good to me and i'm the shade 120w i used to use um, and i hate i tried it the other day because i was like 
I'm doing that thing where I'm trying to use products that I bought before so that they don't expire. And I used to use the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And I hate this so much. I hate it. Why is it like this? I used to smother so much of it on my face that I'm like actually disappointed in myself. Like how did how did my skin survive that? I apply this directly to my face. Can you hear that spitting? See, this bottle needs to go because sometimes it just spits air at you. I have ruined so many like articles of clothing because I'll be doing this business and then it will square out and just go on me and it's very watery so it like <laughs> soaks right into the clothes like straight away i'm sitting so far away from the camera that it's actually just rude to you guys and then i just go in with a beauty blender i've recently started using like the original beauty blender because everyone's like oh this is like once you go with the beauty blender route you will never go back the only thing i used to use before was the real techniques one because that's the one that's like most readily available in the uk see this is the kind of like like it didn't really change much but like but like if you're just going for like a little oh like just you know a little like i don't know how i'm trying to describe this because it's literally water mixed with like a droplet of foundation but i don't know i feel like it it does enough for me to be like like okay with it i wish this video was sponsored by glossier because like wow i love them so much um this is the glossier stretch concealer and i the other day this is a brand new job before someone's like oh she doesn't actually like this product because it's not finished i the other day finished this whole jar like it was scraped clean this and this doesn't look like you're wearing any makeup like if you just wore the concealer and the skin perfect skin which sometimes i do and i trick these people into thinking that i look better than i do and then i would just go in with one of these glossy cloud paints and then the glossy lash slick and that is how you trick people into thinking you're not wearing any makeup which is I don't know why you would ever need to do that, but if it is something that you need to do, then go for it. And yeah, I just go straight into the jar and then I just apply it under my eyes and just anywhere that I... See, like, it looks good. Like, I don't know why these people in these videos say that this concealer has zero coverage because, like, it did a thing, right? Like, look at that. I watched so many Glossier reviews before I kind of jumped on the Glossier bandwagon and... A lot of people are like, oh, I don't see the point of this makeup. Why is it like this? And it's like, you're buying this knowing that it's going to be no coverage. And then you complain about it having no coverage. I don't understand. I'm going to use the Kylie Loose Setting Powder. It's translucent. The thing is, I'm not very fussy about powder. Like, I think anything works, really. I used to use the Laura Mercier one, which isn't cruelty-free, so I don't use it anymore. And then I tried the Too Faced Born This Way one, which is by far my least favourite one. It's kind of thick. Sometimes it would, like, stick in places because it was so thick that you'd pick up, like, chunks of powder instead of picking up loose setting powder. She'd just go under... Oh my god, that is a lot of powder. Let me just blend that down. I don't bake, I don't do anything crazy. I also don't use this all over my face because that is not the kind of lifestyle that I live anymore, which I used to. Oh my God. Like looking back on how much my makeup has changed. And obviously this is, I feel like when I say these things, people like take these statements and use them for themselves. Like different people have different skin types, so they're gonna use different makeup, but I've never had oily skin like I, i've always had very normal like <laughs> very average skin and i would use because i remember one time my mom i think she bought the wrong shade of mac studio fix because that's what me and my mom used to use uh -huh. and then she gave it to me because it was apparently my shade it wasn't surprise surprise and i would slap it on and have this line of just matte orange and it looked bad like it just i the other day i saw i think i tweeted it as well like it's not the other day it was like two months ago i have no concept of time anymore like i really don't and i posted a picture of myself of how i used to do my makeup and let me tell you a lot has changed a lot has changed for me it's it's actually insane like my eyebrows used to be so far apart like i don't know why i drew them so far like they were annoyed at each other they were just they weren't they weren't friends they weren't cousins they weren't even acquaintances like they were on the on, on a whole other side of my face i am um, i was wow this has been a, a semi new discovery like i think i started using it a year ago it's the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder 
powder in one fair. I love this thing. <laughs> She's so good. I've already gone through one of these. I put this under my eyes and anywhere that needs more coverage. So like if I see like some kind of an area where like redness is peeking through, I'll go in with this powder because it's actually got like a fair good amount of coverage. Like I wouldn't use this as a powder foundation the way you could use the Studio Fix, but it's like a similar vibe. Then I'm gonna go in with this. <sighs> you can get this on sale currently because um, Christmas is over and this was a Christmas product. It's the Hourglass palette. Um, it's the lighting edit. And I used to use just one of these. I had a full size of this powder in the middle. This is a setting powder. It's got like, if you don't know how these work, they're basically like shimmer, not shimmery, cause that makes it sound really bad. They're like slightly, they've got like a luminosity to them. So when you set your whole face with it, it kind of just makes you look a little more healthy. And that's kind of, that's the only thing I'll set my whole face with. It's something that actually adds a little bit luminosity back while also mattifying my face like i don't want to go full matte anymore this is not the lifestyle i live so now what i do is i mix these two that's why there's like a dent right in the middle because that's where i slap my brush this is a highlighter and then there's two blushes and a bronzer i'm going to use this channel as like a therapy session this is incredible i thought i wouldn't have anything to talk about in this video but who am i lying to i am the biggest chatter there is i cannot shut the up and I recently have done this thing where every few videos I will show a foundation that I saw on like Trendweed or something where the shade range is abysmal. Like that's just the only way I can describe it is where the shade range is disgusting. Like it will go from this shade to like this shade and that'll be it. Like they won't do <laughs> deep, like they won't do medium dark or dark or deep dark like that those colors just don't exist and i've realized that i will get a lot of comments from people that are mainly my skin tone they'll be like well why does it matter that not every company has the like most extensive shade range they can just go to another company and just find their shade range there like do you think this is that simple because i'm showing a lot of companies that are um not having good shade ranges so you're telling me where like nine out of ten companies will not have the right shade range people of a darker skin tone only have one other company to go to one out of ten that will actually be like oh come in guys incredible wow like probably the worst offender of this is benefit <laughs> let's talk about benefit for a minute let me just have a moment of silence for benefit i'm gonna use um butter bronzer by physician's formula which isn't cruelty free anymore they just decided to start selling in china and not tell anyone about it so that was really cool um because i didn't see it i just found out the blogs that talk about cruelty free products they're not cruelty free anymore incredible so i'm gonna finish this up and never buy it again that's so sad because I love this bronzer so much. I don't contour anymore. I used to contour because I just think it looks so harsh on my skin tone to contour. Like, this looks fine. But yeah, so Benefit really needs to get their shit together. The other day they came out with a stick foundation and it was five shades of the same white, two shades of the same medium and two shades of the same dark. If it was, e that, that wasn't even the darkest that they should have went. Kevin Aquan the other day came out with like eight shades and not eight shades across the board, like eight shades up to medium. I was like, do you think people just don't exist that are above that color? Like what? I'm starting to look healthy again, this is cool. Then, <laughs> this is a very embarrassing product that I have here. It's the uh, Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. But do you want to see the packaging? Do you really want to? Because I don't think you do. <laughs> I broke her. She started falling apart and the packaging, you know, the packaging is just so cheap. I hate the packaging of these blushes, even though these blushes are stunning. <laughs> look at this little mirror. So I broke her apart and now she just lays on top of my <laughs> powders. If you guys know me, you know I'm very into my blush, so we're gonna do that and then go and wow, I love her so much. Look at this, she's so good to me. I really wanted this channel because I feel like even now I kind of need more distraction because I don't really have many hobbies that require going outside. So like this whole self-isolation thing isn't really that hard on me as it is on people that go out for work or you know have more of a social life for me i stay at home all the time anyway so like i was like you know that's that's not a big deal for me but you know you gotta have hobbies right you can't just be work sleep work sleep so i, I work i play on my switch and then i want to do this channel just as like a hobby i'm gonna use the fenty how many carrots diamond foam this is one of my favorite highlighters i many people don't like this product because it's pure glitter like it is a gel like substance that is clear with just 
glitter in it. So when you pick it up, if you know what I mean, like it just, I can't explain this. It's so strange. Do you see what I mean? It's clear and then it just has a little bit of glitter to it, but that makes your cheeks look like they are all wet. I love it so much. I want to do a whole video of testing out like a full face of Fenty and a full face of like crazy brands. Oh my God, see, this is what I mean. She's so stunning. Um, oh no, no, no. I don't put this highlighter on my forehead because it's too glittery. Like I, I kind of got rid of most of my texture on my face, but it's still probably the most textured part of my face. So I can't put glittery stuff on my forehead. And then I'll go in with this highlighter from this palette, which is basically just a sheen more than anything. She's, she's a sheen. I like this highlighter. I think it's really, really nice once you build it up. I think it looks a lot more powder. See, like that's pretty. It looks a lot more powdery and matte when you're swatching it, but then when you actually put it on your skin, it looks stunning. It like blends in with your skin completely. Sometimes I'll put it over some of the other highlighters that I've used just to give it some kind of a base, but yeah, that's how the Fenty highlighter looks. I think it's stunning. Oh, my nose is so itchy. I think spring's coming out. Obviously spring's starting and I have hay fever and this is not going to be a fun time for me. So that's my face done. Yes, let's get into eyebrows. Coffee cools down so quick. And the other day, and by the other day, I mean like a month ago, I was on Twitter.com and Nailogical tweeted out saying that she uses these like desk cup heated pads that you like plug it in and you put your cap cup on top of it and it heats it up and I use it for coffee and it's the best thing. It's on my like bedside table, but I don't have one for my desk. I should have like two, you know, one for my desk and then one for my bedside table and it keeps my coffee warm. Cause this right now, cold. And it's only been, well, half an hour. So, yeah. And I only exclusively drink oat milk because I think it is far more superior than cow milk will ever be. I'm vegetarian before anyone asks. Yeah, I'm vegetarian. I don't eat meat, but I still eat like eggs and cheese and whatever else, but cow milk is just the worst milk there is and i'm gonna be honest about that and the best oat milk is oatly like the barista one. Oh, this is the glossier boy brow and it's so used that you can't even tell what brand it is so that's you know interesting um i already have a backup of this because it's so good it's in the shade brown because even though i'm naturally okay when i was like a child my hair was bleach blonde and then what i found out the other day by watching this like hair girl she said it herself that not a lot of people that are naturally blonde will stay that blonde for the rest of their lives as you age you will have dark hair and i was wondering if it was just me that that happened to because when i started turning into a teenager my hair went into like a light brown and i was like this is not fun not that light brown hair is bad i just really liked my blonde hair and i felt good in blonde so i started bleaching my hair and then that's why my roots are coming out but i always right even when i was a toddler with bleach blonde hair i had brown eyebrows like and dark eyelashes i never had like blonde eyebrows and blonde eyelashes it's just not something that i ever had which is really strange and then i'm gonna use the glossier brow flick which one of my favorite products i was kind of like iffy about it at the start because it can go wrong sometimes sometimes you have like a really bad run with it you kind of get turned off but i think it's perfect for like these right here because i bring my eyebrows a little bit closer in i don't know how i'm talking and managing to do this at the same time but talent okay hold on yeah i think we've done something here it just looks more natural um because it's that like felt tip eyeliner type of brush okay and now my eyebrows aren't even and sometimes my left is my favorite and sometimes my right is my favorite um they change they sort places uh right now my right this eyebrow is my favorite this one's kind of a lot of the time but we prosper we deal with it okay they're kind of even and i'm not going to complain because this is probably the best they'll be and then we're gonna do our eyeshadow today i'm gonna go in with my okay i've had this for four years is that even healthy is that sanitary is that what i'm gonna be doing with my life it's the mac soft ochre paint pot because i everyone banged on about this and it is really good don't get me wrong but like uh I don't think I'll ever have to repatch six. There's no way I'm gonna ever finish this. It's still full. <laughs> I remember like, this is all I wanted because I would just listen to these beauty gurus and they were like, you need this. And I was like, okay. It is really good though. Like it's not too sticky, but sticky enough. It's got enough coverage to like cover up your, I don't like eyeshadow primers that don't have any coverage. Like, you know, the Urban Decay Primer Potion never really go into that because my eye lids are 
veiny am i gonna go into my favorite palette and do my most basic look that i do in every single video yes i am okay i had the anastasia beverly hills soft glam palette which was my favorite palette for like ages i used it every day and then the other day i bought three more i bought the salt tree which is stunning and then i have the norvina palette which i bought the other day they're also clean wow and this one is so good i'm into purple eyeshadows lately and this one is just so stunning oh my god and my favorite palette is the carly bible palette i think this didn't get the recognition that it needed because it's so good i think this and the jackie Aina palette came out too close together so one outshined the other like jackie Aina outshined this one and this one outshined this one because they both just came out at the same time and then on top of that the novena palette started coming out so but i just love this palette so much this is so good this shade right here is why I always wear. It's that like geochrome -y. This is going to be the one I hit pan on. Look at it. Wait, hold on. Oh my god, you can't like tell. It's like, let me find the right angle. It's like purple in some angles and like pinky in other angles. Okay, this looks so bad on camera. Why does it look so bad? Anyway, that's disappointing because I literally can't show you guys this shade. Wow. <laughs> Just like natural lighting hates me. But it's basically purpley pinky bluey this shade right here it's so stunning i've never had a shade like that and this shade right here is so good and foiled and then this shade right here is like it looks great in the pan and like silver but it's blue and pink and green and oh my god i don't know i love this palette so much i basically exclusively use this matte shade here because that's my favorite like taupey type shade and then this shade right here and then this shade in the inner corner and that's just my look so i'm gonna do that because yay so the shade is called bible and i'm going in on a zoeva 227 i'm proper beauty guru is what i am i actually loved and still do beauty gurus for a really long time they're what got me into makeup like i used to exclusively you know watch like the zoellas and the tanya bars because i was like 12 and then i started to watch the american side of things the uk at some point was just more like lifestyle and drugstore makeup tutorials and that's what it was but if you wanted like actual crazy makeup tutorials it was the american side of youtube now i think it's very much blended like you know it doesn't really matter where you're from also like a very blown out look i'm literally just going in with that same shade over and over again now with makeup i will simply just watch like news and commentary on makeup like the things they're buying what they're not buying i don't know i think it's just it's like more entertaining than just watching makeup tutorials over and over again i i say as i'm doing makeup tutorial i'm gonna go into bare which is the i'm gonna go into bare which is just the light creamy shade and use that to just soften the outer edge i love this shade so much wow she's great then i'm gonna go in with my favorite it's called mandala uh this shade right here which doesn't show up on camera well enough that's a shame because it's not that typical anastasia beverly hills formula it's a little more muted like it's not a foiled see it doesn't show up on camera enough in natural lighting but it's got like a blue pink shift so disappointed in how this looks i'm probably gonna insert like a screenshot of a video where i wore this specific look just so you guys can see how it actually looks in person because with my um ring light everything looks a little more amped up okay that's how we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna go in with just the brush that was in the palette and go into um that bible shade on my lower lash line i wasn't into the lower lash line for a bit because i think it i don't know i was just I think it looked too dramatic but now i think i'm back into it i go on and off with the lower lash line i might go into a little bit of chai and cindy i always mix those two together and tap it off and then just go right underneath there i go into moo because i think it gives me a stunning look and i go right in the inner corner the only problem is i have extremely dry eyes that was what i was told by the opticians when i went and i have to use like special um eye drops which i forget to use i have to buy so whenever i put eyeshadow in the inner corner it will last about two seconds before i wipe it off when i'm itching my eyes that's the look i bought backups of this mascara to have on hand and then turns out that they were being extremely problematic like we gave them chance after chance after chance and nothing could help them out and i'm gonna just have to find a different mascara because 
it's the brand that we don't speak of she's problematic curl my lashes i'm gonna go into the mascara okay so that's the mascara i can't speak while i do my mascara so we're just gonna have to deal with that gonna do lipstick and i think we'll be done i forgot about setting spray which is quite a shame i'm using the i'm gonna get one spray i have the small bottle but that's only because i keep on buying like these huge sized bottles of this product um so then i pour it into the small bottle because i think the small bottle is easier to use than the big so i just pour it in there just cover my eyes okay there we go if you look at all the brands that i have i have the most kylie dip stuff because i think despite everything i think her, her lip stuff is actually good like i think her lip products are genuinely good um I think people are just very turned off by Kylie in itself and like the whole brand so they don't really talk about it um and if you do you kind of get a lot of hate for it um but I want you guys to kind of just see how much I've used this product it is from the Valentine's collection not this year but last year I'm pretty sure I already bought a backup of this she came out with just like a regular black packaging of this shade so I have a new one but it is my favorite shade um and the only reason i'm saying it's not limited edition so you can actually get this one okay well half the name is sharpened off i think it's forever and always which i have see this is the one i just have a backup of it because they had lip liners on sale so i got it because i love it it's my favorite lip liner ever and you can actually get it just not in the pink packaging which i thought was very cute but this is gross like look at it um are you kidding me i'm basically doing a project pan without realizing it I don't do crazy overlining but like enough and also hate um putting lip liner like on my outer corners i always just cut it off right before the outer corner because i think it makes me look like a clown i think everyone else looks fine with it but me clown i only overline basically the top sides and then i leave the bottom the way it is my bottom looks fine it's just my top lip that's slightly disappointing but okay i'll use kylie cream lipstick not mac because my lips are so fucking dry it's called dolce de leche and it's my favorite shade she's And then we're gonna go in with my favorite lip gloss formula, which you can guess which brand it is. This is the Christmas collection that just came out. It's super shimmery. This is wish come true. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm. I think this look is done. I think I'm ready to film yet another video. I really enjoyed this. Thank you guys for being here with me. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, whatever you wanna see from this channel. I think that'll be quite interesting just to see what you guys wanna See, I'm going to be doing a skincare routine and a few makeup videos. I'm inspired by Lauren May Beauty, Smoky Glow, Beauty News, Andrea Matilano, Abby Williamson, Samantha Ravendal. I can't ever pronounce this name, but she's a bigger channel. Royal Beauty Christie, some of my favorite people. I think I'm kind of moving away from like the problematic beauty gurus. Um, they're nice to talk about on my channel. Obviously, I'm still going to do that, but I don't watch their videos uh, unless I need to. Who else is there? There's Lauren Geraldo, who makes like more lifestyle type content. And if you enjoyed this, yeah, just stick around and, you know, we'll do a lot more content. It's not just going to be makeup. It's going to be just me. So that's fun. And a lot of my time is doing makeup. So <laughs> here we are. And yeah, bye guys.